What's going on, your boy TV? Now, welcome back to another video. Pop the balloon to find love, Atlanta, baby. We jumping right into it. Smash that like button, subscribe. Yeah, just already turn your notifications on. Let's go. Jumping right into it. She got a love skirt. She got a long skirt. She got a short and a long and a mini skirt. Oh, look at that damn wig, yo. Look like it hurt. She got the silk on. Silk stockings from Atlanta, y'all. Look at that dome piece. And I love it, though. Give it a kiss in. Then I rub it, though, like the Apollo log. I don't want no small. In a hog game. I'm Jonay, Jay, like a hog. And we are live in Atlanta. Small, 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 small. We are here helping these beautiful single ladies. We got a four piece. These are little popular boots all the ladies be wearing right here. These little popular joints. You got these suede velvet boots. You got these pink velvet cake boots. Ladies, find their loves. Give it up for yourselves, ladies. Yeah. I like this venue. So ladies, Put their ass in a know, circle hole. What is the dating scene like for each one of you in Atlanta? What's your name and your age? Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm 24. And God damn, Shannon, why you got that 48 year old wig on? Damn. 24 with that wig. That shit stiff. Put some WD 40 on that thing. The scene in Atlanta is it's like a pool, you know? You see and you meet so many different creatures, but and nobody's the same. But it's it's fun. I will say that. It's a lot of fun. Okay. What's your name and your Somebody with little lungs blew these balloons up. Age. Little ass balloons. Hi, my name is Lorraine. I'm 28. And for Lorraine. me, the dating scene. Lorraine. Okay, Lorraine, you got them boots all the women be having on, but you ain't got no lock on that hoe. I forgot what they called. They had the little boots with the lock on them. It's trash. I just, I Damn. don't want no parts of it. Damn. <laughs> but I'm trying here today. So we'll Damn, see how that goes. Let me look at Lorraine. Right. Hopefully, we'll have a match for you tonight and you'll find yeah, your yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name and your ass. age? Hi, my name is Brisha. I am 31. Uh, the dating scene in Atlanta is a mix. You can find good and bad, but I feel like that's any city. You know, you just got to find what fits your flow. Okay, Bri Brisha. Hey, hey. What's your okay, name? Okay, I like your hair, I am Marielle. I am 36 years old, and the dating scene in Atlanta. Right down, tattoo, 36 years old. This tattoo, right? That's one of them kitchen tattoos back in the day. I like your hair, for real, for real. Uh, is like no other. Um, it's you, you might look up and you might not. You, you never know what you're gonna get here. Mm. Well, we're gonna see if you have some luck tonight. So ladies, the way that we're gonna do the show, you're gonna hold onto your balloons. I'm gonna bring out one single gentleman at a time. I'm gonna ask him his name and his age. But I will not ask him his profession because I want to make sure that we're building genuine connections and nothing is built off of anything that is superficial. Like that money. So, let's welcome our first single gentleman. I'm still on Lorie Instagram. Welcome. She got this thing. She hopping out the water in slow motion with the yams out. The whopper out. Little whop, it's a whopper junior, but it's out. Um, how are you? How y'all doing? What's your name? Damn, man. That big got 12 different tees on his pants. He got a cut off sleeves, an army hat. Name your age. Name is Shamari, and I'm 30 years old. So, Shamari, what are you looking for in a single lady? Shamari, um, what you looking for, fam? What I'm looking for in a single lady, um, someone that come with their own. Got their own everything, really. Car, degree, house. Um, you find mostly mainly women in Atlanta that just want to get taken care of. <sighs> Okay, so you feel like the, the Atlanta women just want you to provide for them? Basically, yeah. Okay. So you know what? We have four Shut your soft ass up. Have... Shut your soft ass up! Just because they've been using your ass left and right. Not been popped. So I want to know, and what hydrate, question though. do you have for these ladies? Because they're still interested and they're smiling. One question? Any question you can think of. What would you ask them? Define love. Define love, ladies. What's your name and your age? I'm Shannon, I'm 24. And honestly, I don't know what love is. That's why I'm here. I'll know it when it walks to the door. How y'all know what love is? Damn. I don't know what love is, that's why I'm here. Do you know what love is? Do you know what Not yet, no. Do you know what love is? Not yet, no. Why you ask her a question you don't know the answer to? I'll know it when it walks to the door. Do you know what love is? Do you know Not yet, no. Cook. All right, well, hopefully you can find it today. Shamar? So we're here to help you guys figure this love thing out. <laughs> not yet, no. <laughs> out. 
So, cool. Shamari, if you saw her out, would she be a woman that you would be interested in? No. Damn. Oh, what's that? Um, just not my You're type. You're not that man. Ah, um, ah. Complexion. Size. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Not really. You're not that guy. Know, too much, but this is not my type. I Dang. respect it. I respect it. To each other. So when you say it's her complexion and her size, you like them dark. Yeah. Chocolate. She checked off every box for you mm -hmm. that you just stood here and shared with me. Would you be willing to overlook the complexion no. and the size? No. No other woman is willing to <laughs> overlook me. You know, they they got check boxes that they need to check off. So at the end of the day, you know. I just like brown skinned women. I feel like it's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So, what's your name and your age? Hi, my name is Larray. I'm 28. You? And your question, what's love to me? I think love is secure, love is confident, love is considerate, passionate, all of those things. All that. Good answer. So, how do you feel about her response? No, um, it was real. <laughs> It's typical evasive, but typical. it gives a generic, uh, generic there type of point you could say. Okay. Now, if you could ask her typical generic one question, what would that be? Have you ever been in love? I have. Have you? Yeah. She's still holding on, so let's <laughs> let's move along. We're gonna collect some more data. What is your name and your age? Hi, my name is Brisha. I'm 31. Bree. Um, for me, love is really truly about surrendering. What y'all talking about over there? What y'all talking about over there? 31. Um, for me, love is really truly about surrendering. She said, I got a boogie in my eye. I got a boogie in my nose. It's about I got not just surrendering ego and pride, but really taking accountability for each other's surrender and giving each other that grace and sacrifice to build and grow a legacy together. Mm. I like that. No, I really do. She thought about it. She had time. I did a little bit. No, but for real, I have like a tattoo. Surrender is like a big thing for me. It's about like letting go. I'm very spiritual. So no, everything I'm going to give is a spiritual response on anything. I like that. So are you big on spirituality? I'm very big on spirituality. I'm Muslim. So I don't know the earrings. So yeah. We got the Muslim earrings in. Okay. So, what's your name and your age? My name is Mari, I'm 36 years old. As far as your question on what love is, love is your personal language with your partner, the way you express how you feel, um, how you want to feel, um, be treated, um, you know, between the two of you. Um, it's a bond that you build um, with your, just your own language um, of what makes you feel happy, secure, and just generally Loved. I like that. So how do you feel about her response? I like it. It's valid. It's a good general response you could give good to someone you don't know. Okay. So I did not hear any balloons pop. So ladies, I want to know what question do you have for Shamari? Do you have kids? No. If he had kids, would that be a deal breaker for you? Do you want kids? I do want kids. Um, if he had kids, it depends. I don't know. It depends on their age, if it would be a deal breaker for me or not. Okay. What's one question that you have for Shamari? You said that you don't know what love is, but you've been in love. How does that work? Um, I never said I don't know what love is. Oh. Yes, you did, bitch. Mm -mm. When she asked if you've ever been... Felt like one of the ladies now. Yeah, she asked me. Nah, B, you said, she, the, the first lady was like, do you know what love is? And you was like, uh-uh, not yet. Man, rewind the clip back. You got to have a replay. I got to replay that shit. You know, the first lady, she, I believe, had asked something I about replayed being it. in love. And he was like, no, she asked about your definition of love. And you said you didn't know what that definition was of love, but you've been in it. No, I don't think I was asked the question. It reversed that. Man, rewind the clip nice. back. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's probably a miscover, uh, just a misread, but defining love, love is stability. Love is someone that I can come home to no matter what and know that, hey, good or bad day, you gonna put a smile on my face, right? Love is waking up to someone that I know makeup or no makeup. I love that. 
hair or no hair. I love that. You willing to see me raw and I see you raw. You willing to build with me and gain something that no one can else stop, right? That's love. That's something that I want. Generic. <laughs> Generic ass. Bruh. I want to know what you're thinking. What question do you have, Shamari? Um, what besides um, a woman that comes with everything um, sounds like <laughs> what you're looking for? No. What else? Um, <laughs> that's what you stated. <laughs> he might say he ain't say that shit either. You don't know you got to watch him. You got you to gotta put the recorder on his ass when he talk. Yeah, like he ain't say it. What else? in your Damn. woman not just you know any a general woman but what, what do you see in your woman what qualities do you like for your woman um what do you see in, do you see no what else um <laughs> that's what she's saying look at that final look how she looked at him before she popped see if she was even attracted to him yeah, like sounds that. like right <laughs> there she said let me check him out for? let me look at him no let what me look else at him. Um, that's what nah. she's he's she looking at his arm and shit his teeth <laughs> What else do you I'm see done. in your woman, not just... Oh, hold on. She ain't even popped. The other girl popped. That's what she stated. <laughs> what else do you see... Ha, ah, he scared everybody. ...see in your woman, not just, you know, any a general woman, but what, what do you see in your woman? What qualities do you like for your woman? Um, so coming from my point of view, um, I'm from New York, so... I'm we don't care about that, sir. Ask the question. I'm a full-time landscaper. I own my own company. Um... So when I say I want a woman that comes with her own, I want a woman that I don't have to sit there and take care of, right? I'm a man that likes flowers as well as you do. Not saying generally give me flowers, but hey, bae, I bought you some shoes. Bae, I bought you a shirt. Do something outside of saying that we're having sex. That's not enough. I could pay for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You lost us there. <laughs> you comparing a relationship to prostitution. It is good. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take a few steps back. See why Shorty do our we pop. We have a popped balloon, and I want to know I what have. made you pop your balloon for him. Um, I just the uh, conversation and the flow of how everything was going. Uh, even when you just corrected her and said no, that's not, and I'm like, yeah, I don't. I'm not interested in that. Um, type of dialogue when it comes to uh, interactions with women. Well, that's understandable. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's not a problem. No, no, I apologize about I think you're a great person. I feel like I'm just, I'm a Taurus. I'm an Aries. I come off as very, uh, even though I would love a woman to, you know, like you oh! women say, come with everything. Oh! I'm very, not gonna say controlling, but I like to. It was given control. I know, I get it, I get it, I get it. And listen, God is working on me at the end of the day, and I'm trying to. We are all a work in progress. Yeah, right. I take. The host, don't you start this shit this episode. You let them people talk. Don't you start this shit. And listen, God is working on me at the end of the day, Man, and I'm trying to. We are all a work in progress. Yeah, right, I tell right, you, we, right. we are all a work in progress. Trust me, I realize it. But she still got some more to say. And we I appreciate have... you for calling me out on it. Two ladies that are still holding on to their balloons. So when it comes to accepting your woman, do you prefer a woman, and this is for our wild card question, do you prefer a woman that is natural or do you prefer a woman that is kind of more so made up all the time, lashes, makeup, but I see you smiling. What, what is your... That's a setup question, man. You about to get cooked. Them girls about to be like, here she goes. She cooking the contestants again because this girl going to be like, I love my makeup. I love dressing up. I love getting dolled up. But y'all know men don't like all that shit all the time. Like, if you had an option to, to choose, you know what most men going to choose. Your preference. It's hella wild card right there. Yeah, okay. we don't say your wild card questions for yourself. We don't want those. Please tell me. What do you like? Natural, but I could do both. Thank you for fixing it because she about to pop. Okay. She was um, almost up out of there on you. Um, I feel like you got to be able to respect both boundaries just as well as a man goes out and get his pedicure or feet done. Um, you know, a woman likes to be dialed it's up. It's not some the same, man. But... Sometimes she want to look good. So it's up to the man to respect it. So that's why it goes back to me saying either I wake up to you like that or I go to sleep to you a different way. I know how you look and I'm appreciative of it regardless.
Now, both of these ladies have on makeup. Her makeup's beautiful, a little heavier. Her makeup's hold beautiful. Hold on, hold on, host. Wait a minute, goddammit. <laughs> Her shit a little heavy. <laughs> but both are beautiful. Hey, yo, come on, host. What, you, what, what the host doing? Yo! Her makeup's beautiful, a little heavier. Her makeup's beautiful and a little bit lighter, <laughs> more on the natural I, side. I, I Out up. of the two women, based on your response, would you pop either balloon? Would you pop both? At this moment, no, I wouldn't pop both. Okay. So, ladies, I want to know how do you feel about, based on Shamari's appearance, everything that you've heard of him thus far, are you still interested? Um, yeah, I think he looks good. He dresses really nice. I love his muscles, so I like to go Hercules, to the gym. Hercules, Hercules, uh, Hercules. Yeah. Okay, so she likes, likes the muscles and she likes to go to the gym, so she want to work out with him. I know, that's right. So you're still holding on to your balloon. So based on yeah, his appearance bullet, and the things yeah. that you've heard thus far, how are you feeling? Um, Appearance-wise, pretty good. Um, I just kind of want to know more. So you seem more so into like what, you know, what, what you've built and are, are you a leader in a relationship? Are you able to and willing to build with a woman? Um, not to say that, you know, I'm not, you know, where you are, but at, at the end of the day, if um, someone were to meet all of your qualifications, your are you willing to build them up and, and assist them with getting to where you want to be so that you all can both be happy? So number one, never place yourself in a category to feel like you have to check off a list for any man, right? Uh, what the hell? Get you worth more, way more than that. <laughs> but for anything in general, right? Um, you meet all the qualifications, sweetie. Sweetie is crazy. It's not you. It's more of a me issue. So at the end of the day, it could be me waking up and wanting eggs and you made pancakes. I don't like it. I like to guide, um, but I also like to build at the same time. And I want my woman to know that, hey, listen, I'm not only here to provide, but I'm here to make us better. Um, so trust me, in the process of growth, it's always going to be a challenge. We just got to be able to fight through it. Okay. I'm con I may confused now, me. She asked a simple question. This bitch talk, talking about eggs and pancakes and building and growth. She said, are you going to help me grow? Just say yes. This long ass speech, you you in the host. Down to decisions. Oh, now, although wow, the ladies host. still have their balloons, we have to make a decision. Yeah. Which lady or would it be both that you want to pop their balloons? Damn, why you want a man to pop both of them? God damn, host. <laughs> I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two. I'm gonna count you down because I know this is hard, but decisions gotta be made. Five, four, Damn. three, two, one. Oh, oh you playing games. <laughs> now, what made you pop your balloon for her? Um, she gave me more conversation. She was willing to learn more. She was willing willing to talk. Okay, you like the communication. Of course, that's the foundation. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Okay, so let's come on down. Let's conversate. And he had so many beautiful things to say about you. How are you feeling? <laughs> I really appreciated that compliment, um, just universally. I appreciate it. Um, it's definitely something to to run with, you know, knowing that someone sees that, who doesn't even know me, you know, sees that in me. Um, and course. I also feel the same. So of it course. just validates Thank that. You. Thank you. So is it safe to say that we have a match here tonight? Yeah, it's safe to say that. Is it safe for you? It's really safe and just safe for me. Um, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah! We have a match! We have a match! I am so excited for you guys. I cannot wait to see what comes out of this match for the night. And I want to thank you guys for coming out. I wish you, you guys the through. best, the best, the best. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. You oh, you're out. more than welcome. More We're than welcome. Yes. You thank you for match, coming. Match. Give her a side hug. We're going to welcome Don't get a our book. next single gentleman. We got a welcome. Three How are you? I'm doing well. Thank Who you. daddy this is? This look like Professor Overby from the back. Asking. What's your name and your age? I'm Christopher and I'm 40. So Christopher, what is the dating scene like? How Christopher looking? 
Yeah! Christopher and I'm Hey, yo, I like doing these, yo. This shit fun, yo. I don't know. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. What's your name and your age? I'm Christopher and I'm 40. God damn, music done. So Christopher. Look how Chris looking at him. He looking at all his options. He looking at look. Name and your age. I'm Christopher and I'm 40. So he looking at number two. Christopher. He looking at number what? one. The and here go number three. Like <laughs> I forgot the eye of the tiger, don't he? Damn. Oh, man. For you in the Atlanta area. Uh, there is no scene right now. It's, uh, it's a little mixed up, so there is no scene. Okay, so when you say no scene and it's mixed up, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, it's just... It's, it's a who's who. Everybody's a celebrity here in Atlanta, so you just have to, I guess, get lucky or okay. whatever, so. Now, are you attracted to a celebrity woman or an everyday woman? An everyday woman, yeah. Somebody who's not chasing the limelight. Okay. That's a lot of attention. You don't want a woman that likes a lot of attention? I don't want a lot of attention. You don't want a lot of attention? Yeah, so. But she can have all the attention. I don't want a lot of attention. Okay. So what are you looking for in a woman? Somebody that knows what they want. Yeah, I don't really like going back and forth. Something as simple as, what you want to eat for dinner tonight? You pick, and then I pick. And then it goes back yeah, and forth. You yeah. don't want to come. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we have our first pop balloon. So let's walk on down and find out why she popped. So what's your name and your age? Hi, my name is Larie. I'm 28, and I popped my balloon because I'm very indecisive. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very indecisive. If you want to go get something to eat, I need you to decide and pay. Oh, yeah, that, that wouldn't have been the problem. But if I say, let's go get shrimp and steak, and you say no. I'll... She wasn't feeling the pasta. And that's a gold tooth right there? 28, and I... Boy, you got a gold tooth? I'm very indecisive. So. Okay, yeah. It's two gold tooths? He got two gold teethers? Look at this goddamn on watch. This shit look like you hit a button. Megatron gonna come out that shit or something. Oh, you an old school player from the Himalaya. Ain't no way this is 40. Ain't no way this 40 years old, fam. Ain't no way buddy right here is 40. Come on in now. If he 40, he been 40 for at least 10 years. Come on now. Somebody lying now. Yeah. Very indecisive. If you want to go get something to eat, I need you to decide and pay. Oh, yeah, that, that wouldn't have been the problem. If you want to go get something to eat, I need you to decide and pay. Oh, yeah. And decide and pay. Duh. Damn. Yeah, that, that wouldn't have been the problem. Nah, 24 year old. You 24, baby. What you going to do with this uh, fake 40 year old? You got to get up out of there, baby. That, that, man, that man, your daddy age. Um, but if I say, let's go get shrimp and steak, and you say, no, I want soul food, then we're going to be going back and forth. Oh, no, we're going to get shrimp and steak, but I don't eat steak, but I'll eat shrimp. Okay, well, your balloon gone, mama, so. I know that's right. Old school play. He dyed that hair, too. You ready, ready. I know that's right. We just want decisions yeah. to be made quickly and not, and not be. Look at that god dang on intergalactic watch. That shit got a capsule in it. <laughs> indecisive. So if she wasn't indecisive. Be a little like Billy D. Williams. <laughs> based on, you know, maybe her looks, height, or what you find to be visually attractive, is she someone that you'd be interested in? Um, no. Okay. And what is it about her that you wouldn't be attracted to? Uh, she wears a little bit too much makeup for me. Okay. So it's the makeup. Do you like a more natural woman, or you like just a lighter touch of makeup? More natural. More natural. I mean, lighter makeup is fine if that's the what the evening's calling for, but for the most part, more natural. Okay. So it's just a preference. So we have. She rolled her eyes, saying like natural. that. Okay. That makeup is on makeup. us. Cause you can even you can just tell cause the lighting. You know what I'm saying? The, what the evening's calling for, but for the most part, more natural. Okay. So I ain't gonna say nothing else about the makeup though, cause y'all know y'all women can do this. I let women, women. I ain't gonna say nothing else, man. Y'all got it. Just a preference. So we have two ladies that still have their balloons. So I want to know what questions do you have for these ladies? Okay. Um, do you all have children? I do. So what, what's your name and your age? 
I'm Shannon and I'm 24 and I have two beautiful babies. I have a four-year-old daughter and a two and a half year old son. Man, you just popping them things out. You pop one out at 20 and 22. You want to hear at 24, huh? You out here hey, raw dog, huh? At 19, 20. Do you have any kids? I do not. I do not. So the fact that she has two children, four and two and a half, is that a deal breaker for you or does that make you more attracted to her? I'm very attracted to her. I just um, I just want to make sure I'm not going to get knocked over the head by the baby daddy because she's two and a half years away from, you know. It's getting raw, though. I don't want no stuff. No, no, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no problems. Now, yeah. with the children's fathers or the father, is there any drama? Would, you know, things be cool? Does he have anything to worry about? I'm just gonna go ahead and do- Yeah, that's a yes. That nigga crazy. He gonna he mad you. You only on the show to make them mad. Is that, I would ask is the same baby daddy. You were favor there, because I, I can't speak for them. Sometimes they're nice, and sometimes they win my weekend, so. Yeah, ain't nobody got time. They, so it's two different baby daddies. Sometimes they're nice, and sometimes they ruin my weekend, so that's plural. It's two different baby daddies, so. You know, I'm young. I can't, sometimes I bring the drama, but like, I try not to. It's not Sometimes my fault. I can't I'm control the people. Drama. You know, so yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. Oh, appreciate you saving my life. I'm you trying to be good. somebody. Never gonna push you well, he appreciates the honesty and he don't want no drama. So we're going to move on along. So what is your name and your age? My name is Brisha. I'm 31 years old. I don't have any children. Okay. I don't. Look how you're looking at her. Ha <laughs> ha. It's an old school player right there. So are you. I got an uncle in the family just like this. Interested in having children? I am. That man be in the hospital. He be having different women come visit him in the hospital. And not the hospital. They be using him for his money, though. He a little at my AAE. That boy got, he got that dog in him, boy. Okay. So, Brisha, are you interested in having children? I am. I am. I don't um, have a to be determined date. I think for me, having children has to be in a state of commitment and marriage. So, that's just very important for me. I'm not one of those women who um, are chasing celebrity dreams. I'm chasing reality. So I do want children, but I want it like in a farmland. I want to have okay. acres. I want to mm. have them running around with their socks and shoes off and just enjoying life. So I want that in a space of like security and commitment. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I heard- What's going on with these girls? I always want to be on the farm. You got nothing on them nails. Huh? Acres, security. That's a big ass hands. Look at that thumb. That thumb bigger than my goddamn thumb. I'm going to put my thumb over there where your thumb at, boy. You got big ass thumbs. And commitment. And then, Both you know, no baby daddies, no drama. Nobody will pull up on you. Right. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling based on her response? I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, and I'm not even going to lie. I'm actually really digging her forearms. I think that's pretty sexy and attractive. She's strong. That's no, uh, no joke about that. So what what do you find sexy and attractive about they her look, arms? They look like she, lives. she has hair on them. Oh, oh yeah. shit! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you about to say them all was strong. Damn boy, the plumber the plumber would have been mad on this one. Arms. And she has hair on them. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. That's embarrassing. You didn't embarrass Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> you hairy form ass man. Uh. It's, it's the oh. hair on yeah, her it's, arm. Uh, it's pretty sexy. I don't know. Now, he just gave you a, a beautiful compliment. I mean, I thought it was a compliment. Yeah. yeah. So, what what are your thoughts? Your hair is why you popped your hair. balloon for him. Little fur baby. Hey, I, I'm very insecure about my arms, surprisingly. I am. Well, I think, well. She probably shaved them shit and that shit came back thick or something. Go get some laser hair removal, man. That shit ain't gonna hurt. Well, if you were feeling a certain way about them, why don't you tend to them? Mm. But I like them. I, I think they're great. I don't want you to touch them. See, I don't know if I'm messing it up right now, but I'm just letting you know. Give your honest response on what you think. Oh, she good to go with the arms. You know, that's you know that's all I got to say about that. Oh I'm just very insecure about my arms, but as far as touching them up, I have it because I do want a man who's going to accept me for who I am. And this he is just it. said the fuck. What the fudge, Sickles? He just complimented them joints. So what did not just accept? Okay. Yeah, you did it on camera kind of, and she gets a little embarrassed about it a little bit. Now, now he, he 
loves. That's how y'all be playing. She didn't got in her own way. The oh. hair on your arms. Now all she the, she's a little mad that this is even a topic right now. Though you popped your balloon for him and you said you're insecure about it, your arms are beautiful. Thank you. Never let any insecurities come into play because you're beautiful the way that you are. But although you Damn, popped your balloon. Damn, we get a close-up on the arms? Yeah, she got some arms. Because it don't look bad here, but I, I can only imagine in person. They had her hair on them arms like that. And them nails not done. Would yeah, you like crazy. to double back and nah, get your balloon for that. him? Or kind of just want to leave it the way that it is? I want to leave it the way it is. Man, she wants to see what's happening in the back. And it has nothing to do with the arms. Um, it is more so about the age as well. I do want a man who's a little bit um younger, just so I Damn. can kind of um, develop and grow with that. I feel like older men tend to have a little bit more... Um, structure going on with themselves that they don't want to adjust to or they tend to not be so open-minded about new adventures or new avenues of living okay now based on the things that you've heard him say thus far and his appearance mm. if he was younger would he be someone that you'd be interested in Yes. I mean, you're a very attractive man now. I, I feel like we would definitely have to have a, a deeper conversation to continue to get to know each other mm. um, and learn each other a little bit more. But I don't I would I would have kept my balloon. Well, this is what we'll say next lifetime. So we have all of our popped balloons tonight. And I certainly want to thank you for coming out. We were hoping that there would be a genuine connection, but Appreciate unfortunately you. it didn't happen. But we wish you the best of luck for next time. That's how I be feeling when y'all be calling You're me on. That's on right there. Y'all be calling me on. That's on right there. Welcome our next single gentleman. I don't be liking that. I might spend on that. Welcome. Put it in the headlock. Right, don't go stun that. What's your name he came out with and a, your age? Hoodies. My name is Nelly. I'm 31. Kicks. What did boy so, got in his pocket? Damn. In the your age. My name is Nelly. I'm 31. Damn, Nelly. So. In the Atlanta Man, area. She ain't even look up at For you. Oh, great. Hey, look how. Look how. She looking down. She looking Welcome. down. Welcome. How are you? She looked at your shoes first. Hey, hey, looked at you briefly. What's your name? It was done. In your age. My name is Nelly. I'm 31. So. Damn. In the Atlanta area, what are you experiencing on the dating scene? Uh, a lot of fast lifestyles. A lot of pretty women. A lot of women that like to get money. Just like me. So you like a woman that likes to get money like you? Yes, exactly. Mm. Okay. So what are you looking for in a single lady in Atlanta? Oh, um, somebody just go oriented, know how to come home at night, know how to drive, don't hit a lot of curbs. <laughs> know how to drive and don't. Hey, that was funny. Yo, why she second girl ain't laugh? That's funny. Don't hit a lot of curbs and go oriented. Okay. We have our first pop alone, so let's find out why she comes. Come on now. So what's your name and your age? My name is Lorraine. I'm 28 and I bought my balloon because I'm just not attracted. Damn. You know, I like a man who know how to dress and you're supposed to come to impress and I just don't like what you got on. That's well, put a hoodie on. It. So Lorraine, what is it that you don't like about his a hoodie set? on. His hoodie. I don't like his shoes. They're dirty. Damn. His pants are a little not black. Ashy. Um, Damn, she cooking like you. He felt that cooking in his face. Not black. Um, he got cooked. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. That's how it be. When you, when you constipated, you pushing that thing out, ain't nothing happening. You know what I mean? You know, it's almost like uh, giving birth. You trying to push that baby, the head coming out, but it just won't come on out. You got to go get an epidural, bro. You got to go get an epidural, bro. That's just let it. You good, pretty. So although you don't like his fit and you feel like he could have come dressed a little bit better, Damn. how are you feeling about his energy, at least? He's funny. He seems like a cool guy. I also don't like the thing with an earring. Just noted. Yeah. Well, we got a snake in there. So, so the jewelry in it the It ain't head. even dangling. It's, 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 it's stiff. He, the earring that's in his ear, ear is the same uh, pendant or charm that's on his necklace. How are you feeling about her response? Oh, I don't know what to say to that. I'm just gonna let you live your life. But um, a lot of people like to take me to the real. 
So, although you're not interested in his appearance, dangling earrings, dangling earrings fit, if he told you that he was a multi-billionaire, although he loves- What are you talking about right now, host? What are you talking about right now, host? Dress with his dangling earrings and his style. Oh would you be interested God. or would you still feel now like you, you still, made the right now you're making it about money. popping your balloon? I made the right decision because it's not all about money for me. I have to be attracted to you and not the kids. Nah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. She stands on what she stands on. So let's back it up. And we have two ladies that are still holding on to their balloons. So what question do you have for these ladies? Is a family is something that you want in the future? Yes or no? So she already what's got your a family. Name? You gotta go ahead and start that. That game already been played. You gotta pick up on somebody else's save game. On your this age. One. I'm Shannon. I'm 24. And I got a two piece. And yes, family is really important to me. In fact, I already have one. It's just not complete. So yeah, if family's important to you, family's important to me. I love kids. Like I'm willing to be a stepmom or a regular mom because growing up, I didn't have like I had a stepdad. So I'm okay with you know. Being that to a kid, if that if he needs that or she needs that, so yeah. So how do you feel about her having children? <clears throat> like I said, I'm 31. I I don't have a problem with it. I'm open to it. But as long as the father's either incarcerated or he's dead. Shit. As long as the father's either incarcerated or he's dead. Shit. Look at this man! Look at this man! Look at look at look at look at look at look! As long as the father's either incarcerated or he's dead. So you said you you don't have a problem with her having children as long as the father. Yo, yo, yo! This is diabolical. Are incarcerated or dead? So you basically want them non-existent, not around for for any reason. May I ask, um, Damn. may I ask why you still like that? Um, no, 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 I'm, I'm asking you. I, I want to know why you would be interested in a woman that has children, but you want the fathers to be like off the map. Off the grid. Um, some men can be very aggressive when it comes to their family, especially when you're dealing with a very attractive woman like Shannon. So when you deal with somebody like that and you do something, maybe they'll feel like you're overstepping their boundaries uh, they might get upset with you about something. How you got that hoodie on, man? You sweating bullets and shit, man. Or Maybe it's his brand or something. Want to get... Uh, unalive, unalive you. Basically. Okay, so you just don't want to get hurt and you don't want any drama. That's basically what it is. So if she didn't have children, would you be interested in her? Definitely. So based on his response, how are you feeling about him with the kid remarks and... Father's incarceration. Unfortunately, they're not delinquent, so they are free. Man, they're and, free. And um, fortunately, they are still living. And well, you know, that's I'm just going to have to accept that. Be, it, it is what it is. I'm sorry. Maybe in another life. Don't apologize. We are good. So we still have one lady that is holding on to her balloon. So I want to know what question do you have for her? Um, just a simple question. Did you grow up in a two-parent household? I did grow up in a two-parent household, but I had a stepdad. Um, my relationship with my real father was non-existent. Uh, he was a drug dealer, and Damn. so he chose the streets over his family, unfortunately. But my stepdad was definitely a big role in my life and how I uh, operate as a family. The I know streets. earlier you asked about family, and I do believe in family, and I want to create one. I don't have any children. So how do you feel about her response? That was a great response. Thank you. So based on her response, and now that you've had an opportunity to see her up close, are you feeling her energy, appearance, and her responses? Um, I'm feeling all of it. I like the response about family. Um, I didn't have a stepdad, but I did have somebody that stepped up. It was my grandfather. He passed away when I was uh, 12, so I agree with everything she said. Mm. Okay. And now that you've heard his responses and can hopefully feel his energy. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty okay with him. I love, I understand like a guy in a hoodie and some jeans may not always be um, the guy who's gonna be the show show, but that- Shots fired.
hang with him. I love, I understand like a guy in a hoodie and some jeans may not always be um, the guy who's going to be the show show, but that just means that you're laid back, you're chill, you're probably in the house. I'm just guessing you're more, you more reserved than the one that's going to be the standout in the crowd. And so I can admire that about a man too. So, although you're holding on to your belief, she took a peek at them shoes and rolled her eyes again. Leave them lashes and all that shit alone. Oh, you put all that stuff on, now you, you been messing with it. You asked the girl if something was in your eye, how your makeup look, now you plucking with yourself. Just chill. Are you that about a man's look? So. She looking at the shoes right now. Although you're rolls holding on to your balloon and you like everything about her, is it safe to say that we have a match? Is it a yes for you? Is it a yes for you? It's a yes for me. Mm. I have to get to know him more to say that I want to match. Even though I didn't pop my balloon, I still would love to just get to know a little bit more about you. Or ask a question or something, man. What you want, to be continued? Or I can say yes. Okay, now we have decisions that have to be made. Yeah, Is yeah. there one question? I like that edit right there. Question that yeah, she said, let her ask a question. We have for him that can better help you decide if we have a match or if you want to pop your balloon. Yeah. Why are you single? Uh-oh. Um, I'm single now because I was working a traveling job as a roofer, so I was moving around a lot and wanted to settle down at the time. I couldn't. Hmm, that didn't help. <laughs> so when you say it didn't help, do you feel like it complicated your decision or? It was very broad. It wasn't a, something that I could be like, okay, yes or no to. It's like, okay, you just wasn't ready for commitment at the time, and now you're ready to settle down. Why are you ready to settle down? Because I don't work that position anymore. I got upgraded. Okay, congratulations, boss. No problem. So we're going to ask one more question because I don't know. We going to have a match because we can't go back and forth. Like I said, decisions have to be made. We're going to ask one more question. What would that be for her? I'm going to reciprocate the question to ask why are you single? Mm. Um, I'm single because I haven't found a man willing to commit. It's Atlanta, so there is a nice plethora of women who are available and single. And so the relationships that I've been in, they were not willing to commit to me. Now decisions have to be made. Okay. So uh -huh. are you going to pop your own balloon? Or are you going to pop her balloon? Mm. Five, four. All right, man. All right, man. God damn, man. God. God dang. Pop her balloon. Five, four, three, two. I'm going to say yes. Ooh, she said yes. He heard her. So is it safe to say that we have a match? It's safe. We have a match. Oh, now that's a hug. Now that's a hug right there. That's how I want my hugs. Not that side granny shit. That's a hug right there. I know that's right. Yes, we have a match, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen. You ain't gotta worry about no makeup on your hoodie. <laughs> you good. Yes. Well, I wanna thank you two for coming on the show. We are so genuinely looking to build genuine love connections, love matches, have love in- Man, this host be doing too much, man. They got my head, they gonna have to take your mic. Don't, the host don't get a mic. Energy Not this air, host. And I'm so happy that you guys have Not this host. Tonight. I look take her freaking mic from her, rip it out her handle. She tried to what give it back. That's when out. she get her ass to smell. You, and you, I don't you. give a damn, man. She talking too much, bro. Hit the mute button, then hit her with we a crush. Had not one, but two matches so far. And don't hit her with a crush. That ain't nice. We're going to bring out our next single gentleman. We got a two piece. And see if we have a match. Come on. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How y'all oh, doing? Shit. They got JJ What's from, your name and your they age? They got JJ from Good Times out here. Don on my boy got an ankle. That boy got an ankle split. Frank, 36. Frank. So Frank, what is the dating scene like for you here in Atlanta? Frank. I mean, it's decent, you know. However the universe aligned. I got a mosquito in here. I say just go with it, you know? Okay. Yep. It, so let's see if the universe aligns tonight. What are you looking for in your ideal single lady? Mm, natural. I mean, both of these are beautiful women, so I mean, it's, it's hard to see. 
But yeah, I like both of them. Like, I like her hair, like her hair. They nice, they look nice. Okay. What question do you have for these ladies? That boy these... look like, what's that man name? That boy look like Ricky Smiley. <laughs> Ricky Smiley in the morning show. One question you could ask them, what would it be? Good job, Coop. Oh, I like that. So what's your name and your age? Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm 24. And yes, I can cook. Okay. What's your favorite dish you cook? Mm -hmm. SpaghettiOs. Because got some kids at the house. <laughs> Easy Mac. <laughs> Them kids eating. <laughs> Lie up ahead, lying about these, 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 you ain't got but one pot in there. Ramen noodles? What you cooking, girl? Come on, girl, you know oh, you can cook. Was, okay, so no, I know how, like, okay, so I know how to make this, like, loaded baked potato oh, with, wow. like, some shrimp. And this, this is my favorite so shrimp. Mm -hmm. This nigga said, oh, wow, as soon as she said loaded. Ah, I make this loaded. Oh, wow, shut your ass up. <sighs> Damn, Ricky Smiley. Like, loaded baked potato oh, with, wow. like, some shrimp. That's my favorite so shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I throw down with the seafood. Yeah, Most other girls, so yeah, you okay. already know how it go. I, I like it. Well, at least you know she can cook, and she's <laughs> still holding on to her balloon. So let's find out what question you have for her. So what's your name and your age? My name is Lorraine. I'm 28. Okay. What's your sign? What, what's your sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Virgo. I mean, to answer that too. My bad. Yeah, I'm a Virgo. And yeah, I can't cook. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, my birthday actually tomorrow, so yeah. Oh, happy birthday. This is unk right here. Y'all be, be calling me unk. This is what I think about when I say y'all be like, hey, damn unk. Man, I get it, but God dang. That's good. Yeah, what's your favorite dish you cook? Um, I say crawfish ATV. Okay, I like that too. Well, I'll keep... Yeah. So do you want to slide on back and find out what her sign is? No. Yeah, I'm not bad. <laughs> it's okay. What, what's your sign? Don't figure it out yet. I'm a cancer. Cancer, yeah, okay, yeah. They love hard. I like them cancer too. Yeah. They, 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 they hard love. So. What? So you said you're a Virgo? Oh. Okay. Got to be gentle with them cancers. You do. That's true. So, ladies, what question do you have for him? Smooth, ain't he? <laughs> so you, do you value fashion? Because you seem like you know how to dress. I like oh, your compliments. That's the first. Oh no, that's the second compliment because the one girl said she liked Buddy Arms. She said she liked the strong man. I think I think the first guy was your Stilo. Thank you. I am fashion man. You know that come with me, a part of me. You know so yeah. But got a turtleneck on yeah. too. Thank you. So when you ask him about his fashion, do you like a man that like really likes to put it on, or do you want to look better than him? So glad you asked me that. I prefer a man that likes to put it on, but he, 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 I look better than him. I want for him to like that I look better than him. And then he's just like, you know, he's looking good, but I look better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, match each other. Fly. Insecure ass. Fly, yeah. Yes, don't, but don't care about how you, your fashion more than one. Yeah. No, uh, you're not going to have a yeah. fresh cut. Meanwhile, I seem to get my nails done. You know what I mean? Together, take care of them damn kids. Sure. You know, I got two year old enough. I agree with that. Sit down. My question for you Do you have kids? Yes, I have a son. He's 18. Oh, I just okay. went to his home country. Damn. Yesterday. He out the house. The house open, baby. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he's 18. All A student. We're actually getting prepared for college, going to the NFL. So, I'm busy with that, talking to coaches on. I know that's right. Well, I wish your son the best of luck, man. That's awesome. And good job putting yourself out there, man. Your house cleared out. You no good. You know, but yes, he's a great student. He gave me no problem, man. Yeah. So I noticed you popped your balloon once he said he had a kid that was 18. What made you pop? Um, well, I don't have any kids, so I just prefer a man that don't have any kids I, I and want to be your price. That's Cap. Earlier you said it depended on the age. I think. I think she said that. It might be another video. It's my third video reacting to tonight. <laughs> I think she said it depends on the age of the children earlier. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Priority, and if you have kids, it's not. that's your priority. I won't be. And if you do have kids and I date you, and it's your not. kid is not your priority, I still don't want you. Because, yeah. you know, don't make I sense. So, yeah. 
So based on his appearance and his energy, would you say that he's someone that you would be interested in if his age wasn't a factor, if he was a little bit younger? Um, his age is actually not a factor for me. It's just the kids. Um, yeah. Well, it's actually, he's a grown man. Like He's grown, 18. Grown, like. He's handsome. I don't know how he look without the yeah, he head on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, is, is the hat, with the hat off, are you feeling like you want to double back or you feel like you made the right decision? I made the right decision. Okay. Yeah, you need a haircut. It is what it is. So we have. Yeah, I need a haircut. That's kind of why I want to wear his hair. That's crazy. And then you had a hat on, so it was mushed down. Damn. One balloon that has not been popped. So let's find out why. She's still holding on to her balloon. So you ain't even asked the first dude with the muscles to take his hat, hat off. He got to wear that tight air hat, a little army hat. He saw on his appearance. It's crazy. Things out that here. you've heard. What has you holding on to your balloon for him? I, I, just, I mean, I just haven't heard any red flags yet. You know. Man, you better ask um, about them yeah, two I'm, kids and crazy I'm, baby I'm, daddies. I like to give people a shot, and unless they're, you know, they give me a reason not to. So for right now, you're. you're Thank pretty, you, ma'am. He's safe for now. You're safe for now, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you have a question for her? Mm -mm. She looking good. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got what to say. Yes, ma'am. And do you have one question for him? Mm -hmm. One question. Um. Anything you see that you might want to know? Oh, um, dang. <laughs> Uh, um, I no. That's now, if, you, if you want my help, now I don't, I don't mind helping you out. Buffalo, the Cardio, Georgia, small watermelon town, capital of the world. You know, been at Atlanta twelve years now. You know, so yeah, a Georgia boy. Yeah, that, that was my one question. I, 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 I spent my ticket. I don't get another one, do I? Nope. We've got to get down to the decisions. So. Based on her responses, her appearance, and her energy, is she a woman that you would be interested in, or do you feel like you would pop her balloon? No, she's beautiful. Oh, I love her hair. You know, I love her body. You do, I've got to love her body. I'm good. I ain't gonna pop it balloon. I actually like you. I like your smile. Well, actually, I like the both of y'all, but you know, I, I, I what? Miss. Yeah. So, I like he balloon. likes a lot of things about you. Are you feeling like you want to pop your balloon? Or you feel like you, you've received enough information to go ahead and just make it a match? Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to pop it. I'm, I'm not going to pop it. We're, I won! I won! I'm so I'm good. It's a little wild, man. She seemed like she was over this shit the whole time a little bit. So is it safe to say that we have a match? Would it be, would it be a yes for the two of you? Yeah, yeah I'm with it. I'm with it. Yes, we have another match. Yes, we have another match. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our. My dog got that hand right there on her. Yeah. Now, the crazy shit about this is Shorty 24. His son 18. Shorty only six years older than his son. <laughs> nah. Our third match word. in Atlanta. That's there crazy. is time. She ready to get up out of there. It looked like she looking like this, but you can't tell because of this makeup and them lashes. I don't know what, if she, what's going on. There's been tons of love in the air, and I am so happy that we have a match and can't wait to see what comes Take out of this. Mic. And I wish you guys Take the, the best of mic. luck. We're going to be checking Take in that on mic you guys from to see how this one Say, works out. Give me that shit. You be Thank talking you. Thank much. you for coming. Give me that mic. <laughs> want to thank you for tuning in to Pop the Balloon or Find Love DC. This was DC? They say Atlanta. I'm your host, Jarnay. Nick oh, okay. She got some other stuff going on. This is a crazy freeze frame, but we're going to let it ride out. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Smash the like button if you haven't done so already before you head out of here. If you're new, subscribe. It's free. And uh, turn, your, uh, turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video. Link in the description if you want to become a member. The members got this video, I think, two days early. So check that out. Early access to the videos. You get a cool badge by your name. You pop out in the premieres with the badge by your name as well. I respond to... The, I, I was saying before to all your comments, but I'm going to say I've responded to the majority of your comments because I was just shooting for like 22 members. I know that's a weird number. I was like, oh, I need a football team, 11 on offense, 11 on defense. But we have, we're over 40 members now. So, you know, it's a bit much responding to all y'all. I'll be trying. And some of y'all don't leave like responsive even type of comments. So I try to hit it with a little heart, show some love. But 
I shot all of y'all out at least once a week too. Read your names off, put you up on the screen, all of that great stuff. So become a member and it helps the channel and gives back to the channel. And shout out to everybody who like and comment. That helps with engagement and with the algorithm. Comment multiple times if you want. You see something at two minutes, comment then. See something at 15 minutes, comment again. All right, I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm out of here. Love y'all like a play cousin. Click on some of the greatness on the screen.